Welcome to my gaming and streaming setup, and I'm doing this all on one gaming laptop. A lot of you think I'm nuts. Like, why would I create a streaming setup using a laptop when a desktop is so much better? And I agree with you, it is. A desktop PC will offer you better performance, but you guys are coming to me for laptop advice. A lot of you who watch me are using laptops, and I wanna prove it to you that your gaming laptop is more than capable of having a successful stream. And I do wanna give a quick shout out to Elgato for sponsoring this video, because without them, this would not be possible. The laptop of choice is the MSI GE76, but it doesn't matter what laptop you use, it just has to have two requirements, which I'll talk about later. This laptop happens to have an RTX 3080 inside, which is super duper fast, paired with 32 gigabytes of RAM and an i9-11980HK processor, which is completely unlocked. The sound. I don't want you to go out and buy a crazy dynamic microphone because by the time your voice gets processed and sent to Twitch or Facebook or YouTube, it gets compressed and it doesn't sound the same. Save your money. Buy this microphone, the Wave 3, because honestly, the price point is amazing. For 150 bucks, you're getting fantastic sound. It's clear, it's crisp. This is a microphone test. We are now testing the Elgato Wave 3. This is exactly what the voice quality is going to sound like. You are now listening to the Elgato Wave 3. But here's the thing that this microphone does that no other one can. It acts as a mixer. Traditionally, if you wanted to blend different audio sources together, you would need an expensive piece of hardware. Elgato is doing this with software. You open it up, you choose your sources, and then you can mix it into your stream. And this is so powerful. You're saving so much money by doing it through software. And the software that Elgato created is very successful. If 150 bucks is still too expensive for you, my suggestion is check out the Wave 1. It pretty much does the exact same thing. You just lose a bit of manual controls on the microphone itself. Now, obviously you need some sort of camera to show your face on the stream, and this is important. People wanna see your presence, they wanna interact with you. Obviously, a mirrorless or DSLR will give you the best picture quality, but it's expensive. And the webcam I'm using here is so good. It's the Elgato face cam, and what makes it stand out compared to the competition is the controls you have. Like, you can do crazy things, like change the ISO. I don't think I've ever seen a webcam that lets you change the ISO. You can adjust the exposure, the sharpness, the, the noise reduction. You can zoom in, zoom out, and the best thing is all the settings you tweak stays between all the different software you use. It's a fixed focused webcam, so if you're moving around a lot and you're putting like objects into frame, it's always going to be in focus, and that's very important for someone who's starting out. As for headphones, you can go wired, which is fine, but if you're streaming and gaming, I suggest wireless because you might be very enthusiastic. You might be getting up out of your seat, and if you're wired to your computer or to your laptop, ripping cables out or damaging your headphones is very, very possible. Now, I'm using the Corsair Virtuoso Wireless XT, and I love them. They have such fantastic sound. You connect the dongle to the back of the laptop and the cushions are so plush, they feel comfortable on your head. But most importantly, if you're having long sessions, the, the way it feels against your head doesn't squish it. You know, like some headphones are so tight that after like an hour you have like brain damage. These guys are comfortable. The only downfall to these headphones, and I'll be straight up with you, is the battery life is not the greatest, but if you keep it charged, often you'll easily get through the entire day. Now I'm not 100% set on the keyboard yet, but right now I'm playing with the Corsair K65 RGB Mini, and this is a 60% keyboard. It's super tiny. I'm gonna say it, okay, I'm mad enough to say it. It's cute. Okay, this thing is super cute. I love the way the keys feel when I press down on them. They're nice and clicky. They're fantastic for gaming. Of course, it has RGB, so you can fine tune it to whatever colors you want. One thing I'm still getting used to is not having a delete key. Like you have to hit function backspace to hit the delete key, but that's what you get when you reduce the amount of keys on a keyboard. The mouse I'm using is the Logitech G Pro Superlight. I love this mouse. It's not my favorite mouse. I still like the Razer Viper Ultimate better, but I feel like this mouse goes well with a laptop setup. The reason being is because of its weight. It's just ridiculously light. You know, like I can chuck the laptop and then chuck the mouse in the bag, which I don't feel, and it has much better battery life, so I don't feel like I'm gonna run out of it after one day of using it. So it's just a great mouse to travel with, but it's also really good for gaming. You know, like its sensitivity can be adjusted to whatever you want. It has good precision. It has really good response time. The only downfall, and I feel like I should mention this if you're buying it, is it, it doesn't have any grip on it. It's a very smooth mouse, so take some time getting used to. 
As for the mouse pad, it's a cloth gaming mouse pad from Corsair. It's their extended black mouse pad. And I just love the design. You know, it feels great with my mouse. It takes up the entire desk so it looks warm. And most importantly, it's minimalistic. There's no crazy aliens or predators chasing each other. It just looks clean. The monitor is the HP Omen 27i. In fact, I got two of these, one at home and one here in the studio. I love this thing because the color saturation and accuracy is impeccable. And if you're someone who's a content creator who likes to game, that's really important. It supports a G-Sync, adaptive sync, and most importantly, it looks clean. There's no crazy edges and RGB all over your face. It just looks nice. Now there is an arm on the back and there is also a laptop arm, which I'll link in the description down below, but they're just your standard arms to hold things up. Now, if you wanna use a dual display setup, meaning leaving your laptop display open paired with an external monitor without experiencing any performance loss, then your laptop or gaming laptop needs to have a muck switch or the display port on the back needs to route directly to your dedicated GPU. For example, my GE76 is in hybrid mode. That means when the display is open and the external monitor is going, the external monitor is playing the game using the dedicated GPU and the laptop display is only using the integrated GPU. If this didn't have a MUX switch or a direct connection, everything would get routed through the integrated GPU and I would experience massive performance loss. With that out of the way, I actually did a test and I compared my results with the external display and laptop monitor open compared to just using the laptop and there was zero difference in terms of frames per second. The only time with this setup that you'll see a drop in performance is if you're streaming at the same time. Because the GPU has to process the game data and the NVENC encoder has to process the stream, you're gonna lose about 10 to 20 frames per second. Now this is normal, no matter if you use a laptop or a desktop. If you're streaming and gaming on the PC, there will be a performance drop. The only way to avoid this is if you use a second PC to stream. So that wraps up this laptop gaming setup. I really hope you guys found this useful and I really wanted to show you that you can game and stream successfully using a gaming laptop. If you wanna check out the Elgato Wave 3, which I highly suggest you do, links to that and everything else will be in the description down below. Like the video if you liked it, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you guys in the next one.